So we're headed out to the blind and it's the first time with uh, the 10 point crossbow that I'm going out hunting. Um, I'm excited about tonight. We've got a cold front coming in um, that should drop the temperatures down into, you know, the high low 50s um, and the low being probably maybe high 20s. So that's really going to get these deer started. It's October 13th, Friday the October 13th, and uh, we're hoping that we can see some deer tonight. Last time I was in this um, blind, we had some does um, come close within range, but we're hoping that a, a good buck comes in tonight and we can uh, use the crossbow tonight and put it, put it down and put some more meat in the freezer. So here we go. Well, we just got through the blind here. Um, we've got a trail camera just on the other side of this creek here. Yeah. I'm gonna go pick it up. Um, we're gonna look at the pictures. It's been out here for about, I don't know, three weeks or so. Um, but I haven't checked it, so there's gotta be some pictures on it, and that'll give us an idea of what's gonna happen tonight, probably. So let's go look at that and uh, we'll come back. You know, raccoons. like a, a young eight pointer coming through there. And there's another deer behind him. Can't tell what that one is. Hmm. Hard to tell what that deer is. Hmm. Maybe we'll get another picture of him here in just a little bit. So we're coming up here on our last 30 minutes of light and uh, we haven't seen anything close. I've got a glimpse of a few deer, you know, about 400, 500 yards away on the neighboring property. And I don't know if they're gonna make it over here um, before it gets too dark, but we're gonna sit and wait here as long as we can and hopefully the, they'll make their way over here and we can see what they are. Um, we can't get them on camera because um, they're behind some trees, but uh, as soon as they get in a spot that uh, we can see them, I'll try to get them on camera and show you guys. 